like to start off this morning reading perhaps the most famous psalm that we have in the Word, and perhaps one of the most comforting and, and loved. This is Psalm number 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I just want to look at one part of this psalm that seems a little bit interesting. We turn to this psalm a lot for comfort, and it is a very comforting psalm because it's about how the Lord is constantly there leading and guiding us. But what is so comforting about a rod and a staff? (laughs) It's an interesting image to talk about comfort. Because what did shepherds use this for? (laughs) It wasn't really for much comfort. Sometimes it's to poke and prod the sheep into the right direction. You know, sometimes you have to jab a sheep pretty hard. (laughs) Or you can use it to uh, actually use it as a weapon against Maybe bad animals, or wolves and lions and things like that, mountain lions. So it doesn't seem like a very comforting thing. It's actually kind of a, more of a violent thing. So why does the Lord pair this with comfort? Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Does anybody have any thoughts as to what this rod and staff might mean at a deeper level? The support. Power definitely is an extension, something extended from the hand is about the power of something. To beat off, what do we use to beat off wild animals in our own minds? The word. word. We use the Lord's truth to fight against evil in our lives, against the nasty animals that want to take us down into hell. The Lord gives us the word not only for protection, which is one part that's very comforting to know the Lord can protect us if we use his word uh, in the right ways, but it also gives us direction, that poking and prodding of the sheep to actually find good pasture. The shepherd knows much better than the sheep where the grass is going to be, where to go to find good pasture, and so he has to direct the sheep, and we are a lot like sheep. Have any of you actually been a shepherd before or seen shepherds do their work? It's actually quite impressive, and <clears throat> sheep are not the most obedient animals, uh, and they can, they can bite, too. <laughs> I've been bitten on the back of the calf before by a, a sheep that was wanting to, to eat, so he ran up and started trying to eat me, I guess. But the, we need to be directed, and when we aren't in a good direction in our lives, We don't find good pasture. We don't find happiness or comfort. If we were thinking about comfort, um, most of the time our life is a little bit more like, think about right now you're probably pretty comfortable in your chairs. Is that correct? Are you guys pretty comfortable? Well, most of the time our life is a little bit more like sitting on a bunch of tacks because we have a lot of things that make life uncomfortable. We make life uncomfortable for ourselves. And if there's tacks sitting on your chair, I would hope that somebody who saw them would say, hey, don't sit on that chair, because it's going to hurt. This is a simple way of explaining that the Lord's word, his truths and his word are there for direction and protection. And those two things really can bring us a lot of comfort. The Lord says that his rod and his staff, they comfort us. 